Hello, I'm Rainer Hoffmann Wellenhof from the Department of Dermatology, Medical University of Graz in Austria. In this first podcast concerning facial lesions, I want to show you something about special anatomy of the facial skin. Here you see a scheme of the facial skin and it's you can detect easily there are no papillae here. Again, here in this histological slide you see the epidermis is flattened and we don't have any papillae. And this is very important for the dermoscopic image of the facial skin. This special anatomy is important to understand the so-called pseudo-network. The pseudo-network consists of an homogeneous pigmentation and in this pigmentation we have some holes. These holes are corresponding to the hair follicles and the sweat and sebaceous glands ostia. So we find this pseudo-network in pigmented lesions of the face. Here we see a dark skin and you see the pseudo-network. We have here these holes corresponding to the hair follicles, as you can see here, and also uh, to the ostia of the different glands. Again, here are two histological slides. One of a normal skin of the trunk and you can see the papillae here and here on the right side we see the flattened skin of the face and therefore we have this pseudo network. Now let's look at this scheme of the pigment network of the normal skin. We have the papillae and if we look in the horizontal plane of dermoscopy, this corresponds to circles and forming a reticular network in pigmented lesion. Here we have two nevi. On the left side you see the normal reticular network with the fine lines and the regular holes. On the right side you see the pseudo network and you can really detect easily the difference. The holes are much larger and also the holes are more roundish. So this is a typical appearance of a nevus in the face. The pseudo network reminds me always on a building in Graz the so-called Kunsthaus, which is a museum and as you can see it's similar to the pseudo-network because we have the homogeneous pigmentation and we have regular holes in it. Another important finding are the prominent vessels in sun-damaged skin of the face. You shouldn't confuse these vessels with, for example, aborizing vessels of a basal cell carcinoma. These branched vessels are more or less normal in the sun-damaged skin of the face. Here again you see such an example of these deliangectetic vessels in the face. As you can see here, they are very prominent and you find it quite frequently on sun-damaged skin in the face. Here is an example where we can summarize the both criteria I wanted to show you in this podcast. We see this pseudo-network here with the round holes and in the surrounding skin we see the prominent vessels, a 
finding which is very common in sun damaged skin. In the next on podcast you will hear why this is a lentigo maligna. Thank you for your attention.